Hey YouTube land, uh, thank you for joining us here at the Kitchen Abs, uh, I guess whatever the hell this is, right? Site, channel, channel, right? It's a YouTube channel, I'm still learning all this shit. Um, so this is covering the rotator cuff surgery, uh, supraspinitis. Um, I'm going to find out more about what was all done as far as if they used uh, anchors or, you know, what, what sutures were done and um, just I'll have more actual surgical information after the second because uh, that's what I'm going to go in for some other uh, post-op um, uh, meetings with the doc. Um, but what I want to say this past Saturday, which was February 20th, made six weeks. So notice you guys don't have a sling on, right? Um, so that has been nice. No sling since Saturday. Um, really all my PTs consist of, you know, hey, here's one pound, here's one and a half pounds. Um, you know, range of motion. I mean, if I stretch out, you know, right now, I can get it all the way up in the PT office. Um, but doing it on your own is a different story than pulling it up with a, you know, you usually have a handle with the string and a pulley and you're pulling up the bad arm. So the range of motion is getting better. Um, really, you know, kind of like, well, I don't know, can I, I don't know, grab a bottle of JMO here or not. I don't know what they shut down on this thing, but you know, this isn't a problem, right? I mean, I can pick this up. I think he said about a gallon of milk, but you're, you're not going to do lateral raises or, um, and, uh, it's not that I drink on the job, guys. Yeah, it, it's my damn building. I guess I could if I wanted to, but uh, that's, that's not what's happening. I, I forget why it was even, yeah. Anyway, right? So I digress. But uh, one of the things that I wanted to check out today is going to be, so I might go to the gym once or twice a week and do um, legs, right? All I can really do is leg extensions and um, uh, hamstrings. I'm not doing any other kind of squats or putting anything on my shoulders. So that means I haven't done any upper body training. <clears throat> and I'm kind of curious. I really haven't done this at home. This will be the first time that I'll do this uh, to see what kind of atrophy has occurred on my good arm. Um, and we can, we, I really won't check out the bad arm today uh, for two reasons. One, like I said, they did do um, a bicep tendinesis. So they reconnected the bicep tendon. So I don't really want to flare up and flex this thing hard yet because it's going to take several months. Um, you know, I'll, I'll figure out after the first week of March what, what, what the status on that one is. But atrophy on the good arm. Now, normally I am at 20, I have a 20 inch bicep. Um, I don't know if we can get in here right now. So it's really not bad, guys. I mean, I don't know if you can get in there and see this, but this is at eh, about 19 and a half right now. Um, yeah, about 19 and a half. I mean, so, and this is like retractable, so, right? So once I hit this button and it comes on here, it kind of sucks up and you got to pull it loose. And then you hit it back up again. So, yeah. So maybe about a half inch. I mean, this is cold. Obviously there's no pump. So, I mean, six weeks out, I really haven't had any kind of atrophy to my good arm. Um, now to the surgical arm, you know, I mean, just out of curiosity, let me see here. We'll do forearms. Uh, so my good forearm is something like about 14 inches or something like that. And the surgical forearm we got at uh, you know what the surgical forearm is coming in at about 13 and uh, three quarters <clears throat> something like that right if I flex it I guess we got to kind of see the 14 creeping out there so there is some atrophy that set in on the surgical arm six weeks uh, post-op. Um, but again, I don't really do it with anything. I'm not worried about any uh, any uh, gains that I might lose, guys. I've been doing this a while. Um, when I had this distal bicep rupture before, um, when the short head snapped off, 
Um, I did have some disfiguration. You can see the big gap that's right there. Um, but, you know, I watched this thing go down to, I want to say, I don't know if it went to 14 and a half or 15 and a half inches. And it got back up close to the 20 at the largest part of the peak. Uh, probably a little bit short just because of the disfiguration. Maybe it went to 19, 19 and a half. Um, it took about a year to get it back there or something like that. But, um, at, you know, I've been doing this for so long and working out and, um, you know, it'll snap right back. Uh, I guess I shouldn't use the word snap talking about surgery, right? Uh, bad luck. So, uh, other than that, PT is going great. Um, I am sleeping. I've caught myself last night since I removed the sling Saturday and I even, I'm, I'm typically a side sleeper. Um, <clears throat> so, and I like to sleep on my right hand side and I haven't been able to do that the whole time I had the sling on. So for six weeks, I was either on my back propped up or on my left hand side propped up. Um, and I know for sure last night I caught myself sleeping on the right hand side and um, you know, I, I tossed and turned a little bit, but it, it wasn't anything bad. So, I mean, really, if you get this done six weeks out, I mean, you're kind of back moving and, and grooving quite a bit. Um, the bicep, you know, really not doing anything with that. My PT right now is so centered around uh, the, the shoulder that... Um, you know, there's really not much rehab at this point to be done with that bicep. It's just a waiting game for it to heal up uh, so I don't tear off, you know, the uh, the, the, the sutures. Um, and like I said, I'll be curious to find out how he has that anchored in there. I believe I find that out March 2nd. So um, other than that, guys, really the range of motion with this thing is good. I think the hardest thing for me is the behind the back exercise that we have but you know even before all this stuff being a little bit muscle bound you know i didn't have the greatest flexibility anyway in in some of these positions um but you know just don't be overconfident you don't want to re-injure yourself um like i said i own a, a meal prep business um and i just just finished having a meeting with uh, some guys about a, a new walk-in cooler right and you know he was telling me like yeah, I had both of my shoulders done and then I re-injured the one and I asked him, I said, how did you re-injure it? And he said, I was helping the neighbor, you know, pull her lawnmower, start her lawnmower. Okay, well, how long after the surgery was that? And he said it was three months. So again, don't get comfortable. They tell you this thing is four to six months uh, to completely heal from. And I've heard that four month point is really crucial. Um, you know, I, I haven't done any kind of stem cell injections or nothing like that. Uh, but from what my doctor was telling me, they have tried that before and they said it, it doesn't matter. You know, maybe, maybe you can be better in four months versus six months, but you're not going to get any shorter than a four month recovery. So don't rush it going through all this. It sucks, but, um, you know, it's just having the patience to where you know you're out of the sling and you're kind of almost back to normal and not getting overconfident um so if that means you should wear the sling longer for you because you don't have any discipline or or you get a little too cocky then do that wear the sling um you know if you know that you can uh, have the self-control and the restraint and you're you know gonna take it easy then you know you you'll be fine so Hopefully this series is helping you guys. Um, again, like, subscribe, uh, because we have a lot of other great videos on this channel. And, um, you know, any questions, comments, um, you know, I've already been talking to a few people who, you know, they said that they're, you know, getting ready to have surgery and that they really appreciate these videos. And again, I can give you some feedback of, okay, you're getting ready to have surgery, but how long ago was the injury? Was it two weeks, two months? Um, because some of that could lead to some other, you know, uh, um, you know, disfigurement or just aesthetically, it may not look the same because on certain parts of your body, the muscle may have retracted so far already. So that's it guys. Uh, stay tuned again, uh, like subscribe, question, comment. Um, and we'll be seeing you soon.